Today, we're diving into the latest buzz surrounding Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S25. There are some intriguing rumors swirling about Samsung potentially switching things up when it comes to their processor choice, and it might involve a new player on the scene, the MediaTek Dimensity 9400. Let's break down what's going on and why this could mark a significant shift in Samsung's approach. So first things first, let's talk about MediaTek's latest chip, the Dimensity 9400. It's making waves as the first three nanometer chip designed specifically for Android smartphones. This places it in direct competition with Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite and Apple's 18 Pro, both of which are already dominating the high-end market. MediaTek's ambitions with the Dimensity 9400 are clear. They want to challenge the industry's biggest players. The chip itself is built on TSMC's advanced three nanometer process, which promises efficiency and performance upgrades that are hard to ignore. For those interested in the numbers, MediaTek is boasting a 35% boost in single core performance, a 28% improvement in multi-core tasks, and a huge 41% jump in GPU performance compared to previous chips. These kinds of improvements are what could push MediaTek further into the high-end smartphone conversation. Let's get into the details of the chip's architecture. At the heart of the Dimensity 9400 is an octa-core CPU setup. It includes a powerful Cortex-X925 core, clocked at an impressive 3.63 GHz, alongside three Cortex-X4 cores and four Cortex-720 cores. This setup is designed to handle demanding tasks like gaming, video editing, and high-performance multitasking without breaking a sweat. But it's not just the CPU that's stealing the show. The integrated GPU, MediaTek's Immortalis G925 is optimized for gaming and graphics-heavy applications. It offers faster ray tracing capabilities and better power efficiency, with support for WQHD plus resolution at up to 180 Hz refresh rate. Whether you're into mobile gaming or watching high-definition content, this GPU promises to deliver smooth and visually stunning experiences. Another big talking point for the Dimensity 9400 is its memory support. This chip is compatible with LPDDR5X RAM, which is currently the fastest memory available for Android devices. It also comes with improved cache memory, which should make everything feel more responsive, from everyday tasks to complex applications like AI and gaming. Speaking of AI, MediaTek has upped the ant with its onboard neural processing unit, NPU. The NPU 890 offers a 35% improvement in power efficiency over its predecessor, meaning it can handle more advanced AI features without draining your battery. From smarter camera functions to AI-powered power management, this is where MediaTek is looking to make a big impact. Now let's connect the dots between the Dimensity 9400 and Samsung's Galaxy S25. According to recent reports, there's a possibility that Samsung might use this chip in some models of the Galaxy S25, particularly in specific regions. This would be a departure from their typical strategy of relying on either Qualcomm's Snapdragon or their own Exynos chips. If this rumor holds true, it could mean a couple of things. For one, Samsung would be acknowledging MediaTek as a serious player in the flagship smartphone arena. It could also allow Samsung to target different markets with varying price points or performance needs. By offering the Galaxy S25 with a MediaTek chip in some regions, Samsung might be looking to expand its appeal without compromising on performance. The idea of Samsung using MediaTek's Dimensity 9400 in the Galaxy S25 is definitely an exciting prospect. While nothing is officially confirmed yet, it raises interesting questions about the future of smartphone processors and how competition between these tech giants will push innovation even further. But what do you think? Could MediaTek's chip be a game changer for Samsung's next big release? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. 
In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. 
Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to oversharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.